thank you, Kathy, and thank you all of you who have invited me and helped with the visit. Can you hear me? Is this good? Yeah. I'm going to read some poems from the latest book, Next Life, to start out with, and then I'll read a bit from some new manuscripts, two new manuscripts. So, Tease. For lack of which, we put ourselves in a cop's place, as he puts himself inside the head of a serial killer rapist who appears to be teasing the police. Bear tree is to human skeleton as the Holy Spirit likens objects briefly to make the world up of provisional pairs. It makes sense to turn that corner in a black sedan and to write down everything that passes, to quick step up the street in a knit red cap one time only. Red cap is to one time only as two, three. Sad fat boy in pirate hat. Long old dented copper colored Ford. How many traits must a thing have in order to be singular? Echo persuades us everything we say has been said at least once before. Two plump bald men in gray t-shirts and tan shorts are walking a small bulldog followed by the eyes of an invisible third person. The Trinity was born from what we know of the bitter symbiosis of couples. Can we reduce echo sadness by synchronizing our speeches? Is it the beginning or end of real love when we pity a person because in him we see ourselves? And this uh, is a little poem that started out to be about my cat and ended up being sort of about journalists embedded in the war. <laughs> it's true. Thing. We love our cat for her self-regard is assiduous and bland. For she sits in the small patch of sun on our rug and licks her claws from all angles. And it is far superior to balanced reporting, though, of course, it is also the very same thing. The subject. It's as if we've just been turned human in order to learn that the beetle we've caught and are now devouring is our elder brother and that we are a young prince. I was just going to click on Phoebe is changed into a mermaid tomorrow when suddenly it all changed into the image of a citizen watch. If each moment is in love with its image in the mirror of adjacent moments, as if matter stuttered, then of course we're restless. What is a surface, we ask? trying to change the subject. Reversible. Try this. Shadows of leaves between shadows of Venetian blinds bounce like holes across the scroll of a player piano. But are similes reversible? Try this trunk of a palm tree as the leg of a one-legged ballerina? That's a bad Sean Connery, but a good prince. We wake up to an empty room, addressing itself in scare quotes. Happen and now have been smuggled out to arrive safely in the past tense. We come home to a cat made entirely of fish.
yonder. Anything cancels everything out. If each point is a singularity, thrusting all else aside for good, good takes the form of a throng of empty chairs or its ants swarming a phone. I'm afraid I don't love my mother who's dead, though I once, what does once mean, did love her? So who meet me over yonder? I don't recognize the place names, or I do, but they come from televised wars. This poem is a kind of elegy for the poet Robert Creeley, who died in 2005. Framing. What you won't see today, juniper's tough skein. The rolling hummocks have grown syntax, tassels and bells for careless wings to be among. The tick in articulation. The present is cupped by a small effort of focus, its muscular surround, your left out. In part, pray to Persephone, dread queen of being changed totally. The gods specialized back then the way one part of the brain controls the hands while another controls crying. One says this in a dream, which is really a speech she receives an award for as she gives it. Re resting briefly in the form as given, three doves on a high-rise ledge. Everything sparkles and then doesn't. What can description do? The dream, a froth of syllables and lights, a lost girl, cross-section of a girl, who floats on the surface, tension between bed, rock, and rising. <clears throat> 